On the Telegraph Fire now, as we've been reporting, Governor Ducey today called for a special session to deal with wildland fires. Let's bring in our political editor, Dennis Welch, to explain why this might have been the only option available right now to get the money needed to prevent and fight the fires. Dennis? Well, you know, first of all, these failed budget talks have really affected everything down at the Capitol with the governor calling for this special session. What it does is it focuses lawmakers to focus on this single issue of how to best fight these wildland fires. Now, it accomplishes this by separating out that issue, these contentious budget talks that we've seen grind everything to a halt down at the state capitol. And we've seen that political gridlock on display this week. Lawmakers once again fail to approve a state spending plan. Now, Democrats, they universally oppose it in large part because it contains a 1.5 billion dollar tax cut. Now, in addition, we saw one Republican lawmaker cross party lines to sink his own party's $12.8 billion budget. But on the single issue of mitigating forest fires, the tone drastically changes. Here's State Senator Lupe Contreras, one of the highest ranking Democrats at the Capitol. There's no time to be spent right now or to be wasted. Uh, we, need to, we need to do something. And I applaud the governor for doing what he's doing and making that special session for for uh, for instructions of the wildfire in the sense of what we're going to do, uh, put some allocate some money towards it or whatever we have to do to to kind of prevent the spread of it. I mean, it, it's it's getting out of uh, out of control at this point. Yeah, I can hear their very different tone indeed. Now, Contreras doesn't see budget talks progressing anytime soon, but predicted that lawmakers can quickly pass legislation regarding these forest fires. Now, that special session is expected to start sometime next week. Nothing is definite has been set as of right now. In Phoenix, Dennis Welch, Arizona's family.